If you need to blur a face or an object in your video, I'm gonna show you how to do that using DaVinci Resolve. Let's jump into it. So here I have a short clip of a Fender amp with no audio and it's a few seconds. So let's check it out how it looks like before any editing. Super simple, nothing too crazy. Now let's say I need to blur this Fender logo because I cannot have that being displayed in my video. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I am on the edit tab right now and you wanna make sure you have your clip selected. Then you'll come down here to the color tab and select that. If you've never seen this page, it could definitely be intimidating. This is probably my least favorite screen in Resolve, but it is also the most useful. So this is typically used for any type of color grading or color correction that you might do, but it also has some cool features on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come up to this number one node, and I'm just gonna right click on it and then come to add node and do add serial. And so all this is gonna do is add in the next digit. So you have a zero one and it'll add a zero two. And you'll notice if you come in here, you have an add serial before as well, and that would add one before it. So for example, if I come here, now you'll see that it added a two in between and our two became a three. So I don't need one of these, so I'll just go ahead and select two and remove it. So now that I have a serial two selected, I'm actually gonna come down to this main toolbar here. And if we hover over this triangle and teardrop looking thing, you'll see that it says blur. If I click this, this will bring up a new menu. So to actually create a blur, all you have to do is grab these lines on the radius and move it up. So you'll notice that these bars stop at some point in time, but you can keep on moving your mouse up and it'll continue to increase the numbers below as long as you're you know, clicking and dragging. So I'm gonna continue to drag this up until I cannot read the logo, which right here looks pretty good. I definitely can't see that that says Fender. As you can imagine, this is not our end result that we want. We just want this little tag blurred. So I'm going to come down here where it says window and click on this. And this is actually cool. It's gonna give you a few different options. You can either blur a box, a circle, uh, a line, the pen tool, which is probably the best one. Uh, this one, you could go ahead and draw and make your own custom shapes that you want it to blur. Um, I'm just going to undo all of that. And since this is a rectangle, I'm just gonna click on the square here and position this where I need it to be. So while that is only blurring this section, we do have plenty of movement in our video, so we are gonna have to track something. So if you actually come down here in between the blur and the window, you'll see there's a tracker. And we could simply click on that and actually come here and do track forward and look at that magic. I'm actually gonna do track in reverse as well and look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna come back to this edit workflow, increase my preview and let's play this and see how it looks. So there you have it. That's how you could quickly track an object and blur something. This also works for faces as well, so you would repeat the same process, only I would suggest either an oval or using the pen tool to get the correct shape of the head, but the steps are identical. If this video helped you out, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below, it's greatly appreciated. And if you're interested in more tutorials on tracking, here's a video here, and this is YouTube's suggested video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Till next time, hope you have a great day.